Here's a fun exercise where we'll take you through a familiar tune, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but imagining how various popular vocal groups might have performed it. It's a journey through history, but also a bit of an arranging, harmony, and theory lesson. Barbershop became prominent in the early 20th century, but it's still sung quite a bit even today. You'll only find certain chords, at least according to the rules of contestable barbershop singing, although they're not always in root position. Keep an eye out for the dominant sevenths, and also look at where the melody falls within the four-part voicing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you You might not have heard of the Singers Unlimited, but their influence was extremely important on the groups that came after them. Since they were exclusively a studio group, even though they only had four members, they could take advantage of multi-tracking technology to expand their arrangements to six, eight, or even more parts, hence the Unlimited in their name. Listen for the lush sound and smooth voice leading in all the parts, despite the complicated harmony. Ooh, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you In their earlier years, The Real Group, a five-part mixed group based in Sweden, took a lot from the classic jazz and swing traditions and created a big band sound with only voices. You'll even hear the bass adding a bit of percussive hi-hat sound, which gives even more of an illusion of a rhythm section. One of the defining characteristics of The Real Group is how clever they can be in their arrangements, so to pay homage to that, we threw in a musical quote in the next excerpt. See if you can spot it. If there were ever a group that could seamlessly meld pretty much any popular music style of the 20th century into one signature sound, it's Take Six. They cover just about the entire vocal range of the Singers Unlimited, borrowing a lot of their jazz-based harmonic structures, but now we've got gospel, R&B, and modern pop thrown in. You'll also notice a characteristic top three plus bottom three arranging device in this next version, which really brings that gospel pop edge to the fore. Twink These days, it's hard to think of a cappella or popular vocal music without pentatonics coming to mind. The groups we've already covered really provided the foundation for a group like pentatonics, but the way they connect with modern pop audiences through a contemporary sound and just incredibly good singing is why they deserve so much credit. Da, 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 da. Let us know which is your favorite in the comments and ask any questions you may have. We'll be answering as many as we can.